I thought that Old Lyme would be a lot more interesting, but really I've just been sitting around and reading, and it's been rainy most of the time, except for the last two days, which have been nice. And now it's, uh, what day is it? Thursday. And the sun is shining, and I'm in my backyard, and I'm in a lawn chair, and, uh, I don't have anything to do, and really don't have any plans, and, uh... Today we will be making a, uh, chicken salad wrap. Our ingredients are, uh, well, a wrap. And then we have cheddar, I think so. Chicken salad from Wellesley, and sriracha, you know, just to spice it up a little bit, you know? I'm going to start by slicing up some cheese. So you don't want to do that, that's now a hole in my wrap, but I didn't get a cutting board out. So the tortilla is now functioning as an impromptu cutting board for this cooking portion of my vlog. So I think just a couple, oh that's another hole in the wrap, shoot. I think one more and we'll be good. Yeah. Oh no, another one. Okay, well, that's enough cheese for now. All right, we got a fork. So use the fork to apply the chicken salad to the wrap. Okay, so there's the chicken salad portion of the chicken salad wrap done. Now we're going to take the cheese that we made and slit thin long slices and put them on the wrap as such. Here. So the nice thing about chicken salad is all of the actual ingredients are already in it. So um, many of the steps of a normal cooking process are taken care of for you. It's great. Just a little bit of sriracha. Okay, that, that looks like an appropriate amount of sriracha. Now, um, we're going to finish this. Oh. At the other end, like such. And there's your wrap. I'm going to take. Uh, well, that's fine. That baby like that, and pretty soon we'll have a uh, chicken salad wrap. Stay tuned. A little jazz while we uh, wait for our chicken salad wrap to finish. Uh, I just learned this one, so it might be a little rusty. So uh, here we go. Oh, no? Okay. A little jazz while we wait for the chicken salad wrap to cook. Uh, just learn this one so it might be a little rusty. Oh, shit. So just a little jazz while we wait for the chicken salad wrap to cook. Just learn this one so uh, it might be a little rusty. jazz while we wait for the chicken salad wrap to cook. Just learned this one so it might be a little rusty.
wrap is ready. Look at that, baby. This is fine cuisine. All right, we're gonna get a plate to uh. So presentation is everything when we cook. So um. There we go. Lunchtime reading, there we go. Well. So first impressions, um, the spots where I used the wrap as a cutting board um, have, been, have made themselves apparent in the shape of holes where the ingredients of the wrap have gone from the inside and now they're on the outside. I, I, I have to dock myself points on that as little as I like to see it. Um, the wrap itself, I would say is not wrapped very well. If I were making excuses, I would say that's because it was done with one hand. Um, but the panini job, I would say is excellent. It's a little bit crispy, well browned. Um, I mean, that's really all you can ask for out of a panini, right? Beyond that, uh, let's see how it tastes. First bite was mostly bread and sriracha. That was by design, though, because you take the first bite and you're just, I wouldn't say disappointed, but you think to yourself, there's a lot of improvement that could happen over the course of eating this wrap. Second bite was excellent. I would say we achieved our goal. Got some melted cheese, got some chicken salad in there, got a little, a little of sriracha to um, round off the flavor profile. I would say despite the several small shortcomings that we described earlier, this is a uh, I'm proud of our creation. All right, I'm going to uh, sign off and uh, enjoy the rest of this wrap. All right, see you later.